From Tampa Bay Screening News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. So Greg has his eye on some showers today. He'll have your forecast in just a moment. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines as we start out the week on this Monday. A man is shot in the checkout line at a Pasco County Publix. Deputies think the man accidentally shot himself inside the Lando Lakes location. Witnesses say the gun was in his pocket when it went off while he was in line to pay. The victim's injuries not life threatening and he was the only one who was hurt. A Lakeland family planning a funeral after a driver hit and killed a mother and daughter. Deputies say 33 year old Venus Drayton and her 16 year old daughter Tierra were standing near the intersection of Skyview Drive and Goodyear Avenue yesterday when a pickup truck hit them. The driver told deputies he thought he hit a trash bag. He told them he originally kept driving but turned around because he said something didn't feel right. The driver is not currently facing any charges. The man facing charges for the Seminole Heights murders is expected to stand before a judge today. The defense of Hal Donaldson III will fight the release of certain evidence, specifically ones recorded during jailhouse conversations. Donaldson faces charges in the murder of four people in Tampa back in 2017. And Disney has announced that they will have what it is calling extra, extra magic hours for Hollywood Studios around the opening of the new Star Wars World starting August 29th. You'll be able to get into Star Wars Galaxy Edge starting at 6 in the morning. The extra, extra magic hours are going to last through November 2nd. Well, Greg, they just need to pack as many people in there as they possibly can. Rise and shine, time for Star Wars. Oh, my goodness, and I bet most of us are still not going to be able to get in with all the crowds expected as that part of the theme park opens later on this year. Planning for today, it looks like the chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Middle to late morning, uh, the rain chances could be high as some rain moves in off the Gulf of Mexico. The late afternoon looks fine, so I think we'll get a lot of this rain in after the morning commute, but before the evening rush while we're at work and school. You can always track the storms by downloading the Storm Shield app. It's available in your app store right now. James. Thank you, Greg. You can get all of your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device and download our free ABC Action News app for instant updates. Have a great day. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk. And push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.